Welcome to this week's video. Another one in my series of decorating platter and bowl rims. Before I start though I have to give a huge thank you to Mike Walt for giving me a magnificently generous shout out on his video this week on YouTube. It's brought lots of people to my site Mike. I'm very grateful. Had some wonderful comments left. Subscribers have doubled in number. Um, pushing up towards well over 150 now which is great. Um, a long way to go to get as many as you've got but uh, the shout out has been wonderful so thanks to everyone who's, who's subscribed and thanks to everyone who's left comments and I really hope that you enjoy this video as well and thanks for watching okay so here we go a bit of chestnut yellow spirit stain Must remember, try not to touch the back, I don't want to get stain on the back. Just trying to build up a bit of texture in the paint. It's probably very bad airbrushing practice, but if it's done deliberately, it's design. I'm going to have a go on this yellow just on the edge here to see what what it looks like with a bit of blue over the top and in places where it's pushing all of the stain off getting a nice mixture of green blue and yellow it's well, I guess you'd love it or hate it. <laughs> I'm just going over trying to get an even sort of coverage. What am I thinking? I'm thinking purple. Oh, I'm thinking, leave it as it is. Okay, now to the fun part of taking out the middle of the bowl, hoping I don't skid backwards across the, the painted surface. Got a bit of a decision to make because there are some marks coming round here. Um, I think I'm going to try just to buff those out very carefully. The beauty of having a permanent mounting on the back, which I know wood turners don't always um, appreciate, is that if the buffing goes completely wrong, I can sand all of this off and start again because I've got a recess in the bottom of the platter. Uh, if it ever needs to go back on the lathe, straight back on. Now I've had to do quite a bit of tidying up of, of this and the first lacquer I used wasn't great and it, it is quite scratchy. So my plan will be just to see how it responds to buffing because I've not buffed a piece before 
and if that doesn't work back on the lathe sand off <laughs> start again well here are some close-ups of the finished bowl and I hope they give you some idea of the texture effect that was created by putting the airbrush so close to the surface that it blew all the paint to the edge of each spray giving a sort of bubble effect thanks for watching